Hello students, welcome to AKS. In this lecture, we will try to do the mains Q&A and the question that we are going to discuss is, discuss the various ways in which the government can scale up the existing fiscal relief package and contribute to income sustenance for the poor. So the key areas of focus are fiscal relief package, that the government has to scale up and income sustenance for the poor okay so these are the focus areas that we have to try to focus upon while answering such a kind of question the key points or the indicative answer which we are to discuss starts with so what are the various ways for the sustenance of the poor direct benefit transfer can strengthen the minimum living sustenance income guarantee announced in the initial fiscal COVID policy response. It is indeed significant to combine food security with basic income. So the author says that there should be a complementarity between food security and basic income. Thus, the National Food Security Act of 2013 makes the right to food, right to food as a justiciable right, justiciable right according to this statutory act. The direct benefit transfer can leverage the JAM that is gender, Aadhaar and mobile linkage and IT technology and transfer the benefits to the target group in a timely, cashless and leak proof and targeted manner. Timely, cashless, leak proof and targeted manner. Thus we can deal with the sustenance issues without distorting the market prices. Next, the disaster support schemes need to be designed to support the needy during this period. The beneficiaries could be state or region specific or whatever the deserving category as declared by the government. A good example can be the migrants or other deserving poor unable to work owing, owing to the lockdown. Thus, apart from the direct benefit transfer, the author suggests that there should be some disaster support schemes for particular target groups so as to help them to sustain in these periods of crisis. Next is to strengthen as a long-term measure there should be a strengthening of social insurance payments for sickness including provisions for PPE during COVID. The significant issues would be to firm up the social security based on contributions. The monetary policy has limitations in triggering the economy through credit policy instruments. You know the RBI indulges in monetary policy instruments or the credit policy instruments but there is a limited efficacy to this so the author suggests that there should be some long-term social security measures which have to be provided the next aspect that there can be undertaken is to design appropriate conditional cash transfers contingent upon citizens fulfilling certain government targeted social goals such as vaccinations for children or volunteering during emergencies. Next is to strengthen the payment for work programs like the MGNREGS, that is the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. When the environment is more conducive, the government can roll out work programs so that there is high money in the hands of the people, especially the poor people. Thus, in the post-COVID era, the government acting as an employer of last resort is very relevant because due to this COVID crisis, a lot of private sector businesses have been affected. And as these businesses have been affected, there has been a lot of retrenchment or removal of their staff because these businesses could not pay them salaries. Thus, the government should now emerge after the post-COVID era as one of the employer of last resort and provide proper reasonable payment for the work availed work provided by the poor people then nudge payments which make it more likely for an individual or family to make benevolent choices or behave in a particular manner an example is rewarding people to follow health guidelines next the author concludes that it is vital to strengthen the existing fiscal package by tweaking the existing means tested policies with a more effective exercise of morally required equity. So the author says that ultimately, 
there is a need to strengthen and complement this physical packages by being proposing a more effective exercise of morally required equity in all the policy framework of the government.